What's up? <laughs> What's up, God dang it. One more. One more, one more. One more for you. One more for you before I go. It's me, y'all. Tori and God is coming in with a message. Um, I'm hearing that it's, it's about to be an altercation or a fight. It's about to be an altercation, a fight, some type of, some type of fucking fucked off ass occasion when it's going to cause a lot of conflict, right? And that's because you, it's going to be sometime soon too, and that's because you going to feel like you in the, in, in, in the spirit of giving, like you just, you just got to bless these people with your time with your presence but do you see that bird that bird then told you don't take your ass back over there don't take your ass back over there with this nine of pentacles you 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 trying to socialize and get out Taurus virgo capricorn energy you know what i'm saying and it's like you 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 passing up all your blessings that you you passing up all your blessings because you've been blessed you've been blessed with so much you know what i'm saying being away from these people but it's like you you heading straight towards them you heading straight towards them and it's like you out of your jurisdiction because you don't even jig like that no more you don't jig like these people jig no more and not just that, these motherfuckers and stuck all type of motherfucking swords in your motherfucking back. They talk about you behind your back. You go to the bathroom, go make a plate. They talking about you. They are. They talking about you. Period. Point blank. It was already some conflict with these people. It's going to be some conflict again fucking with them. You see what's on the bottom? It's going to be some conflict again fucking with these karmic individuals. You know what I'm saying? So what you bored? You can be bored. You have you have just like it was like open sesame for you, right? These blessings that then came. You know, although you know they, they are short and few in between, but you acknowledging them, right? You're acknowledging that you have been blessed. You've been blessed financially. If not, you're about to be blessed financially. You know what I'm saying? And you going out, kicking it with these motherfuckers who wasn't in the gym with you while you were shooting that three-pointer, while you were um, uh, creating these long-lasting business relationships, these motherfuckers who, who was outside the box couldn't even step in that motherfucker because they not critical thinkers. You know what I'm saying? Only reason that they are going to be happy about you coming back around is so that they can place one of these motherfucking knives in your belly. God damn it. You hear me? It was already some justice with these people. You hear me? Already some justice. With these people, you brought it. You see that knife right there? You took one of them knives and you put that shit in your hand and you said, this is my sword. This is my sword now. See, y you can't beat me at my own game because I done already told it all. It's what I just heard. I done told it all. I'm an open book. I done kept it absolutely gangster with myself, so I can keep it gangster with everybody else. But if you done kept it gangster with yourself, why in the fuck are you going back around towards these people who you know don't give a fuck about you? That's what the G's just said. <clears throat> you done been tucked away from these individuals, this person, this people. You went in hermit mode. You went in hermit mode, said you wasn't dealing with them. They brought you all the way down. They had you in tears. Motherfuckers was all in your relationship. 
You know what I'm saying? Playing with your money, taking money from you and shit. Because you, you was in the spirit of giving and these people didn't even need your money. You was helping motherfuckers who didn't need help. You was the one who needed help. But guess what? Like I like in the fuck I just said, when you was in the gym shooting them three pointers, goddamn it, when you was doing your squats, you know, getting that weight up off of you, where was they at? They wasn't spotting you. They wasn't spotting you. You had to go in hermit mode and do it all by yourself. And you shed some light on the situation. And you recognize, analyze, and realize that these motherfuckers wasn't shit. And they all have been harsh lessons. Shit. They all have been harsh lessons. And you want to go back around them, right? So they can test your faith and test your gangster again. It's like you, you a worthy opponent, though. You a worthy opponent. You are the opposition's opponent. You know that, right? You the opposition's opponent. Yeah. The opposition want to come in between anything that you love. You see that motherfucker right there want to come in between everything that you love. This is this this is what you running back to. This place, this person, these people. This love that you that you have stored up for yourself, you've been loving on you. You created a bond with you. You understand what I'm saying? You have you have balanced out your masculine and your feminine energies and you know you kind of combine them together right um you've been sitting on something not just your ass you've been sitting on a plethora of knowledge about these people you know they the devil you know they the devil you know these people are dealing with all Type of negative energies and entities. Um, some of them are possessed, is what I just heard. You know, but you got a lot of love for these people. You got a lot of love for these people, for this person. But again, where were they when you needed them, right? Keep that same energy. Let them keep that same energy. Because uh, they can't deceive you anymore. They can't. They can't deceive you anymore. They can't hurt you no more neither. The best armor is to stay out of range, is what the G said. You're not a part of the circus act anymore. You're not. You're not a part of the circus act anymore. Um... I feel like, you know, you, you're about to be quick about even fucking with them, too. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't even have the same energy. You know what I'm saying? Period. Point blank. The energy so thick when it comes to you and this person or these people that it don't even make no sense. And that's because you didn't crack some codes. You didn't crack some codes. You, you see both worlds. You see the world that you're living in now, the world that you were living in with them. You know what I'm saying? Um, Y'all were compatible in the past, but right now ain't shit compatible. These people or this person that keep you stuck in the negative rut on the same shit brick road. Repeating the same karmic lessons. The school bell rang already is what the G said. The school bell rang already. And with these intuitive abilities that you have and that, you, that you're holding on to, hold on to your time and your money and your energy too. Because all they want to do is take it. That's all they want to do is take it. You are not binded to any contracts with these people anymore. You're not. So what you're going back for? What you're going back for? Bored? Are you bored? But I, I, I'm, I'm feeling like you're bored. Not only that, 
these people been, you know, it's like, I'm feeling like it's like a long line of good times, not so good times, but it's like a tapestry that was woven. It's like these people are like a a Linus blanket for you. Um, it's some type of some type of obsession that you guys share. Um my lighter. Hold on, y'all. Some type of obsession that you guys share with one another. Um I'm feeling like I'm feeling like um these people had you up thinking about the worst that can happen. These people had you up thinking about the worst that can happen. It's already been a death in these in this connection. You know what I'm saying? And it's like they, they, these people brought a lot of pain to your table. A lot of pain to your table. A lot of deception. Um, a lot of disappointments. Um, man, it's like these were some close folk. These motherfuckers was close to you. This person was close to you. And all they brought was misery. You know, it was a mixture. It was a mixture. You had experienced some highs and some lows with these people. You know what I'm saying? I got all elements out here, y'all. All zodiacs. This is an all sign reading. Give it the thumbs up if anything is resonating with you. And give it the thumbs down, too. You know what I'm saying? But trust and believe that with these blessings that you have caught, you got a dream catcher in your hand. You got a dream catcher in your hand. And the universe is trying to unfold as it should and bless you spiritually, financially, emotionally, and mentally. You know what I'm saying? It's like you you were in this hermit mode and you put yourself right there by yourself away from everybody else. You centered your emotions. You made sure that you was click tight with spirit, that you was going to be blessed financially, right? You did that. You did that. But you got a lot of love for these people. You can love them from a motherfucking distance all the way the fuck over there is what the G said. Because they ain't going to do nothing but mess up your blessings. Mm -hmm. With this five of pentacles, this judgment, and this six of pentacles, it's, I, let me tell you this, okay? It's like these people that left you all the way out in the motherfucking cold. Whatever love that you have for these people, you can have this love, this person, you can have this love, but is it really going to be in your best interest to harmonize any connection that you have with these people? A trumpet already been sounded. It's like the dead has arisen. Your blessings, they won't end on that man. But they wasn't in the motherfucking gym. They left you broke, disgusted, busted, down on your luck. Left you when you had health issues and shit. <clears throat> but you don't never leave them. You always, you always in their corner. You understand what I'm saying? Always, always in the goddamn corner, but these people don't reciprocate. It's unrequited love. And what they are looking for is a gift from you. They want you to pay attention to them. It's like you, 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 you got a testimony right now. You have some successes and shit. 
You know what I'm saying? You got some successes and ain't this ain't the time to be merging with uh the circus. It ain't the time to be going back in time trying to see if if it was a mistake to leave these people alone. Not with this at the bottom. Not with this seven of cups at the bottom. They set up so many illusions. They lied so much about you. They lied a lot to you about them. And right now, what they looking at is the opportunities that you can help them with. These motherfuckers selfish. They selfish, and they don't mean you no good. All they want to do is bring you back down and dim your light and make sure that make sure that you are on the outside looking in again. These people want to pull the wool over your goddamn eyes. You understand what I'm saying? They do. They want to pull the wool over your eyes and make sure that your safe haven is not a safe haven anymore. I may be talking to someone who stays in a country, right? An emperor. Somebody with a boss, solid ass motherfucking persona. This motherfucker is an action taker. They don't take no shit. That's you. That's you. That's you now. That's you now. You've prayed for this position that you are in now. You've prayed for it. These people helped to create this solitude for you, right? They had you on the outside looking in, goddammit. Broke and disgusted. Broke and disgusted. But look at this here. So, you know what I feel with this? I feel as though these young, immature-ass motherfuckers, you know, it's like they are in some strong ass competition with you and they struggling with they search, right? They search for their opportunities. Um, they made some wrong choices when it comes to money, when it comes to love, but they see that you got it all together right now. They see that you got it all together right now. And, and they've been praying for your downfall. They have. They've been praying for your downfall, but before you fall, God damn it. Before you fall, these people want to sweeten the pot. This person want to sweeten the pot. These people, they like, this is someone who, um, who don't want to see you go anywhere past them. This person don't want to see you above them. This person wants, this person is bit. This person, you know, they, they not going to be too militant when it comes to dealing with you right now because, you know, you went through a transformation. You know, your skills are different and you, you're coming with a different glow. You're coming with a different glow. You didn't change your address. Your energy is different. You know, um, you know these people are the opposition, bringing wrath and war. These motherfuckers, listen. The G's want you to be very defensive when it comes to these people. Don't go nowhere towards these motherfuckers so you can knock yourself fifty paces back. They're going to start a fight with you. Wherever it is that you're trying to go that you had left, these people that you didn't quit fucking with, you still got the love in your heart, but they don't. You still got the love in your heart, but they do not. So, where is that? They got the love in their heart, but I mean, you got the love in your heart, but they do not. It's like a seven of pentacles, 
type of situation, you know, this Five of Pentacles situation, this Ten of Swords situation, this judgment. This is somebody that you was fucking with romantically. This Emperor. Don't you take your ass back towards this motherfucker. This motherfucker just want to make sure that they got their foot in your neck. Whatever it is that you have um, successfully done, solo dolo. Yeah, they won't end on that. They do. That's the only reason that they trying to will you back. The only reason that I feel as though that you would want to go back is to have some bragging rights. And a G said that is not going to be a good look. It's not going to be a good look because you're going to end up black and blue. You're going to end up black and blue. Bruise up this page of cups. This person offered you some love in the past. They did. You may have been in a relationship with this person. I'm feeling like this person, you know, this person was a reason for you to boss up in every way possible, spiritually, mentally, financially, but this person is very deceptive. Uh -uh. This person is very deceptive and this person wants to seduce you. This could be somebody younger than you, somebody that you think about from time to time, and this is probably one reason why you are about to go in for another round. But the G said, halt. Who goes there? Karmics, karmic connections. Who want to keep you on a shit brick road? Keep you on a shit brick road and cut off anybody at the finish line because this motherfucker ain't gonna do nothing but be blocking the door for somebody who is supposed to be there this person may supposed to be there too you know what i'm saying whatever lessons that you were supposed to learn dealing with this person you know what i'm saying you you know you you, you got your heart in it too much when you're supposed to be thinking with your head and not your heart again you can have love for this person you know what I'm saying? Um, you can have some forgiveness in your heart. Don't have no larceny in your heart because it's going to block off those blessings. But it is advised that you don't deal with these people or these persons or this person. You understand what I'm saying? I feel like this person is only out to get you. This person is only out to get you. This person is well known for being... A fucking dog, male or female. This person just want what you got. Period, point blank. This person, you know, you, 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 you again, you got a lot of love for this person. A lot of love for this person. But is it mutual? Is it mutual? That's, that's, that's what they asking. Is it mutual love, respect, and honor? Because I'm feeling like this person had their foot in your neck in the past. This person was oppressing you emotionally. This person, you know, any kind of success it was that you may have obtained. This person, oh, that little job, that little car, uh, that little house, that little outfit, you know, anything with little in it is 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 showing up some bullshit and raise some hairs on the back of your neck and have you questioning whether or not, you know, was that a jab at me or was that a motherfucking goddamn compliment? No, this person don't want to compliment you. This person want to bring you down. This person wants you to suffer. This person wants you to suffer. This person 
and stepped over two people that they didn't already put to the pavement and now they want to come towards you. Y'all had a cycle already that ended. You are in a new phase in your life. New phase in your life, right? You smarter than you were before because you know this person or these people better. You know? They just can't offer up no bullshit and you gonna digest it. Mm -mm. 